Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some new information to do with the Elseworlds crossover. So this information has come out like over the last few weeks. There was some stuff that came out yesterday to do with Stephen Amell. I'm going to be breaking it all down in this video because I felt like I probably skipped a lot of it. And looking back over some of the articles, I realized I did. So we've got a new synopsis. We got some interviews. And also we've got some new sneak peeks as to what's going on in the crossover. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So tonight, along with Supergirl, we are expecting to get our first official like long trailer, not a 10 second version of it that we've got four times now, I think. And so essentially it's going to probably be a 30 second trailer after Supergirl tonight. So please be on the lookout for that. Obviously, my video will come out a day after if that does in fact happen. It just seems like they're a bit late on actually releasing these trailers because we're only a few weeks away from the crossover. And personally, I would have released the first like longer trailer like last week. So I don't know. Maybe it's just their publicity. Maybe they just want to have like a sort of short burst like a few weeks to do all the publicity for the crossover. Obviously, we've had the photos. We've had various things various interviews popping up here and there that we'll be talking about but i'm talking about like actual footage i thought they would have done it by last week but you know it remains to be seen why they've done that but that's just up to their publicity team so let's break down this synopsis that was released just a few days ago from an entertainment weekly article this is how it goes the three night event begins with arkham asylum dr john deegan rewriting reality which results in oliver and barry swapping lives in this new reality oliver queen looks like grant gustin and barry allen looks like amel and the two heroes are the only ones who know they're in the wrong lives and have each other's powers this not only explains what's going on in the recent promos but also why the actors have swapped costumes so that's really intriguing like that's probably like our best piece of information we've got so far because that sort of explains what's going on in this crossover the fact that in this crossover we're going to be seeing john deegan this doctor at arkham asylum who if you didn't know in the comics most likely is playing dr destiny so he's a character from the comics and he's rewriting reality as all the trailers have teased at and now we get the official confirmation that he's physically going to be rewriting reality, so somehow he has the power to do that. Maybe it has something to do with Psycho Pyro, we know he's in the crossover. Also, the monitor has that power to do something along those lines. So we'll have to wait and see as to how he can physically do that, maybe it's his powers. But for now, we know that from the synopsis, they've confirmed that Oliver and Barry are, in fact, swapping lives as it's been teased in past trailers over the last few weeks and the two heroes are the only ones out of all the heroes that know their lives have been switched and obviously they're gonna meet like these other versions of our characters and I think these two are the only ones that have literally switched personas and I think the other people will just be unaware that those two have switched and due to their destinies changing they've obviously always been these versions of their characters so they're like only aware and they're gonna have to get like Supergirl's attention and everyone else's attention to try and help. Maybe Supergirl isn't affected because she's on another earth and maybe that's why they get Supergirl in the crossover because they are able to go for her to help because she's on another earth. This explains like everything that has been happening like why you've been seeing these swaps and these different things in the promos and the photos as well so you know that's a really really solid synopsis i think it explains the crossover very well obviously it's a lot more detailed in the actual crossover episodes we haven't been able to see anything really so far there's only been like photos interviews synopsises and like some short promos so we don't really know what's going on really especially to do with batwoman we don't really know what she's doing so that is about it for the synopsis part of the video. Now let's move on to some more sort of teasers and scoops that are going to be happening in the crossover. So we know a while ago, if you guys remember back, Stephen Amell teased that the crossover will start with Oliver eating pancakes. So with him eating pancakes and like just going over like the photos that were recently released, I just happened to notice that 
Oliver had pancakes in that Iris scene and that's obviously a callback to what Iris was doing this season, the fact that she can't cook but in this reality she can cook which is pretty funny. But the fact that Stephen has confirmed that that's going to be the opening scene, perhaps it's going to start with reality already rewritten and then maybe we'll have a flashback and it will explain why Oliver is actually Barry in this instance. So. Perhaps this is what's going on. Maybe they change it in the edit. I don't know, but that's supposed to be the first scene So when Oliver is Barry eating pancakes with Iris in the West Allen household So additionally Stephen yesterday released two new sneak peeks as he was watching a screener for the Supergirl episode last night and Essentially what he teased was some photos of what's happening in the crossover so we see one photo of Melissa as Supergirl in the Supergirl part of the episode so this is the final episode of the crossover and she's in Star Labs she's in that new version from this other reality maybe it's another Earth with black suited Superman this was the scene this is just like an extended version of the promo we got the other day with Supergirl and Alex and she's definitely talking to that sort of black superman version of alex like she's working with black superman and so that's like a nice little teaser i like that he's releasing these because like the better looks into the crossover because we haven't really had any sneak peeks as of yet and so the next photo steven posted was one of black suited superman obviously tyler hecklin and this is obviously just temporary vfx as you can see his eyes are glowing yellow but maybe his heat vision is yellow because he's this different version of Superman. It remains to be seen, but this is in the Supergirl episode as well, so nearing the end of the crossover. It's just nice to see Black Suit of Superman like, actually in action because we've only seen him from behind the scenes photos, obviously. So it just gives us a bit more hype and Steven's really done a great job at publicizing this crossover so far. So now we move on to the comicbook.com interview that recently teased what they're planning in the future that they want to get to crisis on infinite earths so i'm going to be breaking this down right here so this is how it goes all i can say greg Belanti really has a sort of master plan of things and i'm really excited about how it's going to pay off it's really fulfilling to see some of the crisis stuff play out gustin told us i hope we i hope we can stick around long enough to see what's going on with that newspaper article. We'd have to make it four more seasons, five more seasons. It's cool though. It feels like it's earned. Me and Steven had that conversation a lot during the crossover actually. So this is Grant Gustin teasing the fact that they are essentially trying to lead towards that crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. They are eventually going to pay it off and the fact that they mentioned that Greg is actually sort of planning this out and the fact that I think Mark Guggenheim recently said something along with the trying to build up to Crisis on Infinite Earths and with the Monitor in this crossover and Psycho Pirate who are massive characters in Crisis on Infinite Earths in the comics if you haven't read it, they are definitely teasing and trying to build up to that part but essentially what Grant Gustin is teasing is a bit of the Crisis on Infinite Earths but also a bit of that crisis with him vanishing in the future from that newspaper article. But I think that actually is to do with the same thing. I think the newspaper article is Crisis on Infinite Earths due to the fact that we know all the heroes are around there. We know Batwoman supposedly in the newspaper article, Psycho Pirates there who's in this crossover. Also Green Arrow, The Flash, obviously he goes missing, Reverse Flash, Supergirl. All these different characters are mentioned in the new newspaper article with him still vanished in the future. Essentially Grant is really excited. Hopefully they can build up to this massive event and this would definitely be Crisis on Infinite Earths for the TV show. Obviously it will be a spin on it, but essentially they are hoping to build up to that point and at that point it's going to be like five years in the future from now in real life. So Grant wants to continue to then, which is very good news, and I think the show can definitely go on for that long. If you look at Supernatural, that's been on for god knows how long, and The Flash is the CW's highest rated show, and has been since its very start. So anyway guys, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of all of this? I know this is a massive information dump on all of you, because we went over the new synopsis, we went over some sneak peeks from Stephen Amell, and also we went over the Crisis on Infinite Earths teaser interview 
at the end of this video. So, are you guys really excited? This all gets me really, really excited. Also, they released a new photo with Grant Gustin as the Green Arrow just to put it in at the end of this video. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.